Breaking news on trade. Kayla Tausche has the details. Well, Wilfred, after getting a green light from the World Trade Organization, the U.S. government is set to release a new list of tariffs on European Union products as soon as tonight, according to senior officials from the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative. This list is set to include aircraft as well as agricultural and industrial products. Aircraft will be hit with a 10 percent tariffs. The other products will be hit with a 25 percent tariffs. We are awaiting the details on exactly which products will be included. Now, these tariffs are going to appear in the Federal Register within the next few days. And uh, we are expecting that these tariffs will take effect on October 18th, according to these officials. But just before the tariffs are set to take effect, the U.S. and the EU are set to have a meeting over trade. That's expected to happen on October 14th. Unclear what, if anything, that meeting could yield. But important to note that it is a few days before that October 18th effective tariff date. So we are on watch for that tariff list to see what it includes when it comes out, Wilf. But certainly the U.S. is wasting no time in announcing its uh, actions after this ruling came out. And uh, senior officials say that if Brussels tries to retaliate in response, that it believes it has no basis legally to do that. Kayla, does the administration think of the EU as a totally separate uh, issue to China? Or does this indicate that broadly the administration is upping the ante on trade in general? Uh, well, I think it does separate the European issues from the Chinese issues. They're on somewhat parallel tracks here, Wilf. You know, you, you remember that this WTO case between Boeing and Airbus has been going on for the better part of 15 years. There's still another decision on uh, Boeing and the uh, tax benefits that it gets from Washington State. That's expected early next year. And then, of course, there is a European auto tariff deadline on November 13th. So there are a few mile markers for the U.S. and EU on trade. We know that the negotiation lines have been open, but so far little progress, according to officials, has been made. Kayla Tausche, thank you for bringing us the latest on this.